the NGW Tag Team Championships are about to be defended. And Alex, this is a match that was almost never going to happen thanks to the demand of this man, Joe Hendry, and his partners in Team Insane Fight Club. Well, when Team Insane Fight Club left for those belts, I thought we would never see them again. But NGW management have been negotiating for weeks, and it's led to their first TV defence. This is the team. NGW management have had to negotiate with these guys at all. Isn't it kind of ridiculous that you have to negotiate with the tag team champions so that they agree to come and defend the champions? Oh, 100%. I mean, but you know, you've got to, in some way, you've got to place a little bit of the blame at the former champion Sticks and Colossus because they wanted to uh, put that open challenge out there to all the professional wrestling and these guys came in essentially from another wrestling promotion, another wrestling scene and took those belts with them. They weren't part of the NGW roster and now they have all the leverage in that negotiation Negotiation, and that is a bad position to be. But thank God NGW management managed to get them back. And Dave, I'll tell you about some of those things they asked for a little bit later on. But it appears they've got them because they picked their own opponents, Dave. Yeah, and, and no offence to the men they're about to face, but they haven't exactly picked the top tag team in NGW to face here. Well, I don't know if this audience knows who they're going to see, but we found out a little bit earlier on. And, um, I mean, it's a title defence. And, well, I mean, let's see what happens. So Hendry with the mic, taking his time. If I could have silence, please, when the local hero is talking. Because if you don't know who we are, then you should. We are Insane Fight Club. He is Lionheart, and I am Joe Hendry! We took something that belongs to you. We took the NGW Tag Team Championships from your beloved heroes, and we make zero apologies for that, because we take what we want, and we promised that we would be gone for good. By the end of the day, we understand. Hey, listen to me. We are out. We understand that business is business and NGW management were crying like babies to try and get us back down here to defend these crying like babies. So they came to the negotiation table, they gave us exactly what we wanted and made us two very rich men indeed. So we are here but the term was we get to choose our opposition. So we have picked out two of the very best talents. We have picked one of the greatest tag teams in the world to face us tonight. Because we only want the best. So bring them out right now. Well, to say that their opponents here are one of the best tag teams in the world is a little bit of an exaggeration. And I think it speaks volumes to the integrity of our tag team champions that they've chosen two products of the NGW Academy. This is not an experienced tag team, Alex. These are trainees. But don't forget, this is the biggest match of their entire lives. And, you know, when the champions won the belts, it was an upset. Maybe we'll see another. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, the team of the 80-minute man, David Briggs, has ace. Matthews! So Dave Graves and Ace Matthews with an incredible opportunity to win the NGW Tag Team Championships, but they will be serious, serious underdogs against their much more experienced opponents. Both of these guys with tremendous experience in other sports, but there really is no sport that can prepare you for the bumps and bangs you suffer in professional wrestling. That being said, last time we saw Ace Matthews on this show, it was in that exhibition match with El Liguero, and Ace Matthews took Liguero to the limit, former NGW champion in El Liguero. So, you know, 
It's going to be an interesting match. I'm going to pick Team Insane Fight Club. They're very experienced and they're very well. They're Wiley veterans, but still, don't count out Team Sports. I think Wiley is the correct term for Lionheart and Joe Hendry. Not only in terms of how they compete in the ring, but in the way that they've had NTW management over a barrel when it comes to negotiating whether they were even going to bring these belts back to be defended. Alex, I know you've had some insight into some of the demands that they put in place before they agreed to come. Well, I mean, there was the, the two most important demands. There was three outside of financials, which I guess, you know, we can't really discuss on this program. But the first demand was something we'd speculated and questioned for a long time, and it became official that any two members of Team Insane Fight Club can defend those belts and they don't have to let NGW management know in advance. And that's, that's a massive disadvantage for all opponents. The other one is that they can pick their own opponents, which we're seeing here. And the third one, which really is just them sticking it to NGW management, if Kid Fight goes out and gets drunk and loses one of the belts, NGW management have to legally pay for a new one. And that was just put in there as a, as a real up yours to NGW. I mean, that belt, those belts are expensive. Yep. I mean, Kid Fight can't be relied to not lose. And we don't even know where Kid Fight is today. I don't even think they meant it. It was just to let everybody know exactly where the power lied in this situation. So, you know, it's upset a lot of people, including the NGW Tag Team Champions. You know, we've not got word from Sticks and Colossus since they lost those belts. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a situation that at least we've got the champions back in the ring. Well, Lionheart is going to start things out for the champions against Dave Graves. We're going to have to go to a commercial break, but the NGW Tag Team Championships will continue to be defended when we return on NGW British Wrestling Weekly. Tag Team Championships on the line here on NGW British Wrestling Weekly. An insane fight club, the defending champions have chosen Dave Graves and Ace Matthews as their opponents. And it's interesting because all through the commercial break, Lionheart and Joe Hendry have been wrestling. I mean, we know, we know them as Team Insane Fight Club because of the, their style of offense, but they've been given a tremendous display of catch as catch can style chain wrestling here with two standouts from the NGW Academy. So I don't, if this is, is this a new strategy? Is this, I don't know, it's bizarre, but I'm impressed. Look, no one's denying the talent of either Lionheart or Joe Hendry, or even Kid Fight for that matter when he's here. The problem is with their arrogance. The problem is with the fact they're so self-absorbed that they think they're within their rights to take those championships back to Scotland and only defend them on their own terms. Well, here comes Ace Matthews now. And, you know, there's so many members of the NGW Academy that are coming up with this new generation. But one of the most important that we've covered on this show is Liam Slater, who it's now been confirmed in just seven days' time, will have the biggest match of his entire career because him and Joe Connors will finally happen one-on-one. -on -one. If Connors does not attend, he will be suspended indefinitely and Dara Diablo cannot interfere. More on that later, but that's a real, real big match. Right, and if you're Ace Matthews or indeed Dave Graves, you look at the example of someone like Liam Slater and that gives you confidence, that gives you optimism that you too can be a success on the main roster. That's what they're hoping for here against Insane Fight Club. And Ace Matthews here. I tell you, this strategy of keeping it to wrestling, uh, it's not paid off. And the, wow, this is interesting. Even Lionheart looks impressed. He's got a smile on his face and Ace Matthews known for giving that thumbs up and he, he deserves not just a thumbs up, but look, Lionheart's even giving him a thumbs up there. Yeah, I think he's taunting him though, isn't he? Isn't he mocking him? That was a great little bit of wrestling and that's what it's all about. You know, we've got large life characters, we've got interesting developments that happen on a weekly basis, but the word on the marquee is wrestling and right here on British Wrestling Weekly, you're going to see the best British wrestling from the new generation every seven days. Hendry goes behind and takes Ace Matthews down. Hendry certainly out wrestling this, this youngster. The opening seconds of their exchange. Matthews, although he's a, a very sporting competitor, he's also a very intense one. That look he gave Lionheart a minute ago. Great fireman's carry takeover by Hendry, and never forget how good an athlete this guy is. Oh, an arm drag there by Ace Matthews, comes back with a second. Hendry oh, a, walks into that drop kick, didn't quite get all of it, but it definitely floored one half of the champions. And Ace Matthews, look at the confidence, of, and Hendry looks surprised. Yeah, Matthews is building up ahead of steam. That's, 
Goes back to that intensity I talked about for such a young man. And Hendry gives him the thumbs up. Well, he, hold on, hold on. Oh, a Lionheart from behind with a sucker punch. Well, that was short-lived, wasn't it? And I knew something didn't quite feel right, and they just lured those kids into a full sense of security, and a valuable life lesson will be had by both Graves and Matthews there, but it may be at the expense of their tag team title chances. Yeah, call it inexperience, call it naivety, whatever it is, it's cost Ace Matthews whatever momentum he was building up against Joe Hendry. Hendry brings Matthews back into his own corner and tags in Lionheart. This strategy of keeping Matthews as far away from his tag partner as possible. And it's so strange to see how the, the land in the NGW tag team division, uh, tag team division has shifted so dramatically. Look, brutal kicks there by Lionheart. Because, you know, Sticks and Colossus dominated that division for over a year. And now we have not seen them since they lost those belts. And that's allowed Lionheart, Joe Hendry and Kid Fight to essentially have their, their way because not only did they hold the belts but they're now the most successful tag team in the division after one match I mean it's a crazy situation big back elbow there they won't be the most successful if, if Graves and Matthews can pull off one of the biggest upsets in NGW history right here as Lionheart with a double hip toss Graves and Matthews with a tandem offence you see that sporting warm up there and referee Adam J let that go a little bit longer, which, you know, it's a dubious... To, yeah, yeah, seeing rec reprimand in there. Ace Matthews saying, when I tell you to get out, you get out. But these guys now have got the one half of the tag team champions or one third of the tag team champions, as I guess it is legally now, in a vulnerable state. You know, our referees obviously are... Oh, God. Lead to the back from oh. Hendry and a drop kick from Lionheart. Goes for the, the cover. Will they retain here? only gets one and a half, but I was going to say, our referees obviously try to be impartial, but everyone involved in NGW, from the referees to the ring crew to everyone else, must be insulted at the way that Insane Fight Club have disrespected those tag team titles. Well, NGW is one big family. You know, it started in the community centres in Hull, then it went into the biggest arena in Hull, and now it's moved to Hull City Hall, globally televised, and everybody feels so proud of NGW. So to have some outsiders come in like this and essentially hold the company hostage, hold it to ransom for these tag team belts that have been, you know, they've meant so much to so many tag teams in Britain. It's a real sad situation, and it's definitely great some anger. And, you know, that this ludicrous situation where... The, the deck is stacked in their favour, could continue for some time if they're going to continue to be allowed to pick their own opponents. And Grace here coming back with all he can, but it wasn't enough because Lionheart, don't forget this man, broke his neck in the past and came back to wrestling. That's just how tough he is. Hits the ropes, comes back and, oh, God! Massive kick to the face and jaw. But, you know, again, no, one, no one's questioning the toughness of Lionheart. No one's questioning his ability in ring. What we're questioning is the way he's conducting himself towards NGW management and by association to the NGW fans. And talking about NGW management, credit to them for getting Liam Slater and Joe Connors in the ring on next week's programme. It's going to be big. And don't forget, we're just weeks away from Bubblegum v Matt Myers for the Gen X title. But right now, it's about the tag titles and a crossbody. Yeah, Graves has got the cover. Going for the upset. And Hendry was sufficiently worried to come in and try and break things up. Hendry now, with Graves in a very vulnerable position. What's this going to be? And he didn't he didn't make the tag there. Hendry and referee Adam J is in a tough spot because if he disqualifies the tag champions as Graves hits the post, then they're just going to walk out of here and they may never come back. Which, again, shows you how ridiculous this situation is. This is affecting the way the referee has to officiate the match. It's crazy amounts of leverage. And Joe Hendry's caught and... Oh, that overhead slam. Watch this. Oh, all impact. And Lionheart, has he got Lionheart on the top? And it's going to be the Lionheart oh. frog splash. Frog splash on Graves. That's got to be all. The champions retain. Damn it. Insane Fight Club keep the NGW tag titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still your NGW tag team champion. There's no need for this. This is, I mean, they've proven their point now, but they're just putting the boots of both men. And you know, Alex, this has further strengthened the negotiating position of Insane Fight Club. Now NGW men are going to have to go all over again if they want to get them back.